All right, with the high def DVD war over, it is time to celebrate the glory of Blu-ray. We know the picture is solid business, but what about the sound? Today we're reviewing the new Blu-ray home theater in a box, the Samsung BD2. Samsung breaks the mold yet again with the first home theater system in a box that includes a Blu-ray player, the BD2 surround sound system. This 7.1 channel 1100 watt system boasts four tall satellite speakers, two compact surround speakers, and a giant subwoofer. The main receiver is a Blu-ray player that also upconverts your DVDs to 1080p, so both your audio and video is the highest definition. Get it all for $1,500. Right on. This is it. This is this the first Blu-ray mm -hmm. theater in a box that's readily available. Actually, looks pretty sweet. I like the yeah. sleek design. Is this, you know, a little big, though, for your living room? You think it'll be in your way for the living room? Okay. okay. Well, it, it might be, but it's still going to be impressive. Now, I want to take you through what it has. It has two compact surround speakers. You can mount on the wall behind you, or you just put them on an end table. Four tall voice speakers, about five feet tall, two in the front and, of course, two in the back. They are sleek, sturdy, and blend in, but... Maybe a little conspicuous behind your couch. Center channel speaker fits pretty much anywhere. Has a 35 pound subwoofer. It is very unobtrusive, I have to say. Now, everything is in a finished glossy black, which really gives it style. Um, it does show the dust a little bit, but still looks stylish. Now, the Blu ray player itself is long and flat for easy integration into your home entertainment system. Plus, Looks freaking sweet. You know, you Look said it. it, it'll be conspicuous behind your couch. Mm -hmm. I mean, this thing looks like a, a stripper pole. This thing is huge. <laughs> no, but it's, yeah. Thing, you know I mean? All right, let's see that. Okay. You want to see but, that again? Yeah, I would like to see that. You but get but they are thin. No, I will not. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I might lick it or cough on it later. Nice. Um, but uh, but I like the way these look. I mean, I remember when They're Sony cool. had their Dream System come out. I just wanted one. You just because so you like the way they look. But let's yeah. talk about the Blu-ray player itself. Okay. I mean. You don't have to be worried about losing the format war here, but I mean, mm -hmm. what kind of features are we looking at here? Okay, well, it, ha it outputs in 1080p. Now, we watched Pirates 3 on Blu-ray earlier, out now from Walt Disney Pictures, of course, and it looked terrific. Plus, it upconverts regular DVDs to 1080p, so everything is in high definition using an HDMI out port. Setup was extremely easy, I have to say. Each speaker wire is color-coded, so you know where to plug it in the back. You just put it in. There's no figuring it out. You just stick it in there. RCA and component out, and it has a stereo auxiliary in. Two digital optical in ports. LAN port for firmware updates. Now, this one doesn't have many inputs, just like most home theaters, so you're going to have to plug other video devices into your TV, but that's normal. Not a problem. You yeah. Know? Different holes, different sizes. <laughs> you have simple. trouble putting in the holes sometimes? Sometimes, sure. I get that. Sure. I get that. Now, the most important part of this thing for me has got to mm -hmm. be the sound. Uh, what in the hell does this thing sound like? Okay, well, it is 7.1, so you have the ultimate in surround sound, as well as a high-definition picture. This thing pumps. I got to tell you, we got the volume up halfway, and already the floor was shaking. Nice. But, 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 that said, the bass and treble were not as clear as some mm. other home theaters we have reviewed, but... I gotta say, overall, we were pleased with the sound quality, but we have to be fair and tell you, in comparison, it was Bass a little. Bass trouble. Wasn't trouble as, were trouble. Yeah, wasn't it as pronounced. Well, fifteen hundred bucks seems a little steep for uh -huh. a home theater in a box, even if it is Blu-ray. Yeah. Should I go out and buy this thing tomorrow or what? Uh, okay. Well, this thing really is an excellent home theater system, and since it is the first Blu-ray one, early adopters. Like the people from the iPhone, Mr. Selwyn Pereira. I you got guys, mine a month ago. Well, you're going to be all over. Okay, well, then you didn't. Thank but you. Um, But you wanted one, didn't you? <laughs> yes. Uh, now, you, early adopters are going to be all over. Now, the cheapest Blu-ray players run you about like three to $400, and a nice audio system is about 600 So you put that together, you might be paying a little too much for the BD2, but... Once it hits the market, we are hoping the price will drop to about $1,000. And after that, it's pretty much a no-brainer, 1000 bucks for all of that. All right, not bad. So wait right. till it drops about $500. Yeah, and, and it will. It they always do. Attack of the Show, weeknights at 7, only on G4.